A common question that I keep getting asked about God's Raid is where should I spend my stamina? Where should I grind in the game? How do I progress further? These are all a similar question and it is a bit of a grindy game once you get to a certain threshold and it does take a bit of time to progress, but there is always a way to progress. So I'm going to go through the ways that I have found myself spending my stamina and grinding and where I've done it and just kind of giving you a few tips and tricks to progress your account further faster and to get deeper into challenges and into content and just have more fun with the game. So I went and used 100 energy on the very hard stage three in Lava Prison, just kind of to get a baseline of what you get for 100 energy. Okay, so when you're in here, you're obviously getting some coins, not very much. You're going to get a lot more coins if you went and done the maze stage that whatever you're up to and used 100 energy, it would be 10 runs at say like 20,000, so maybe 200,000 coins. So that's 5x amount of coins, 4 or 5x amount of coins you would get from campaign. But when you do the maze, you only get those specific materials. You don't get all this other stuff, all these hero shards, the items and the elixirs and god elixirs and even mastery points. You don't get any of that stuff when you're not in campaign. If you specifically need gold, because you always need gold in this game, but you are looking to craft some legendary gear or do something that costs a lot of gold, yeah, go and do the maze. Go and get some gold from there. Sweet. But if you don't specifically need a lot of gold right now, you just want to accumulate it over time, I would go into campaign and start farming there. I didn't even speak about how much XP my characters that were farming were getting whilst doing this run. So I just went and done another run just to see how much XP they actually got. They all got 2,247 XP per run on top of all those other elixirs and XP potions that you get for the run. So I really like grinding a lot of campaign, but where do you grind? Okay, if we have a look back here, I am up to stage seven on very hard, but when I go to farm a campaign level, I don't usually do the highest one I can. So my team is consisted of lots of demon characters. So I'm looking for demon shards. So I come back to the levels that drop demon shards. You can have a look over the side here, featuring demon soul stones. All of this chapter will be dropping demon shards. If I come over to this one, featuring all stones. This one, featuring all stones as well. So it seems like the last two on every, like, very hard, hard, normal, and that will be all stones. But this one back here, orc stones undead stones and beast stones and one will be human stones it gives you kind of an idea by looking at the picture whoever's on that it'll be their stones but if you do not care what stones it is just do the highest level you can on auto and you want it to be something you do very quick so that one that i just did then took less than a minute for me to go through and complete that level so i'm going to be completing levels really fast and get through that campaign really fast it is really good on this game you can put it in power saving mode and even on my phone it goes into a smaller square down the bottom so i can still use my phone once i'm in campaign like farming so it's really good like that that it doesn't just clog up your phone and it just has to sit there and do its own thing so grinding campaign and grinding whatever is really really good for this also on campaign if you watch an ad you get extra xp from campaign completion and extra gold it's only two 30 second ads to get extra gold and xp whilst you're running through campaign so why not? Also, the brand new thing that I brought into here is the hero practice grounds. This is where I put my second team. And I don't drop them in there at level one. So if you've got some here elixirs and stuff to level them up, level them all the way up to level 10, ascend them, and then put some more into them so they get to be level five or level six. So then they're in here for multiple hours at a time, not like 10 minutes, you know, come back in here, do click because you'll forget. They'll be sitting in here for a whole day. You come back and you've just wasted so much time in here. You want them to have as much time as possible when you pl plonk them in here so you don't have to be coming back continuously. I really do like the addition of this hero practice grounds in here. I would love it if you could level up your gods at some point in here as well because it's so, so long to get any pots for those and level them up. It just takes ages. Like Poseidon and Tyr are my highest at three star. And I've got one more at three star, but the rest are only at two. And it's it's something that I feel like really holding me back. So if that is the case for you as well, that you don't have enough God's pots, come into here. Vidar, where I'm at now, does drop purple ones, but I don't think the drop rate is high as this one here. So I come in here and do my highest one. I'm also getting purple of the epic sunstones and purple of these earrings if I'm lucky. God of War Ares, I think it's just it's just too hard to get past it. Um, I haven't 
figured out the best way to attack these, but I'm still trying to level up enough heroes so that you're actually getting some progression out of here. Because half these heroes don't do anything, they don't do enough damage. You really, you're only, your first team is the one that's going to be doing damage. So, yeah, it, these are just really, really hard and obviously some end game content, but you need these pots to level up your gods. So, I'd be coming in here and throwing a lot of energy into here because gods can be a huge difference within this game. Gods can be switched around freely between your characters. That is something else that you will need to do, especially in this Tower of Recarnation. I come in here, Tower of Orcs, I've completed this one, but if I come in and I go auto-assemble, which I have, they're all there, he's the only one that has a god. If I put four other gods onto here, they get so much more stats, even level them up to level 10, and their stats will be so much higher than what they are now, they'll survive, and you might get a few levels, get a bit of gear, because you will get to a point where you have to do this past one floor in each tower of all of them, and there. Just switch your gods over, give them all good gods, and away you go. You'll complete it pretty easily. Kind of going a bit off track there, but when you do need to progress, I find that campaign is the best place to do it. By far. doesn't matter where you're at. If you're still in hard, I was still coming to this lava prison here, doing the highest one I could, that I could go through fast to get my demon stole stones, so that I could come into the hero fusion here, come down to the demon one, and just do some demons to get them up, so I could then ascend my demons higher. It's all about getting your biggest and best characters as high as possible, especially the damage dealers, because once those damage dealers are high, you can just do remarkably massive damage to your opponents and pretty much go through levels that you probably shouldn't be able to get through. So if I have a look at the level that I'm up to, recommended combat power is 250,000. My combat power is 190,000. I just don't have enough damage to defeat this final boss right now. He just has too much health and heals himself and I don't get this run done in a quick enough time it just runs out but i'm 70 yeah 70 000 points under what it tells me i need to be at and you're still beating it it's all about strategy and it's all about power if your damage deals are high enough they'll just fly through content for you and then you just have a tank that just soaks everything up hopefully some of this information will help you progress further but it is just literally campaign is the best place to go and farm i go in here just go bang consecutive battle Make sure you stop upon failure and stop when hero level reaches max. You do not want to waste any XP like that. And when you do have a hero that hits their top threshold, like if Giant Robot hit 50, I would take him out and put one of my other tanks into that spot so then he is not wasting XP and just hitting that threshold and not doing anything. It's not like other games where that extra XP will be converted into pots. No, 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 they don't do that here. You need to put a character in that is getting some XP when they are running. Hope you've learned something here. I really wish that in this game they bring in somewhere that you can specifically farm XP or the rewards just get turned up just a little bit. I feel like the rewards are just a bit low. It just takes a really, really long time to get through any of the content here. Let me know in the comments if I've helped you. If I haven't, what else would you like to know so I can be helping everyone out there? 